Hey guys, welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews as well as Quirk Auto Dealers. Today we have, I think, the best spec Tahoe that there really is. This is the new 2021 Tahoe High Country. It's quite windy today, so you might get a little bit of wind noise. Uh, I tried to position the vehicle in the best spot that I could uh, in order to prevent it, but everyone knows that no matter what you do, you're gonna get some wind noise. Love the interior on these. Oh, I guess they shut that off. What I love about this, this one has the 6.2, and I think you can get it with the 5.3, but the quad exhaust is absolutely awesome. And it really provides a great sound to this car. I just move shrubs. Uh, 81,000 for this one. It's up there, but this one's fully loaded. You got the premium package, you got uh, rear seat media, the iridescent pearl tri-coat, which is insane. And this beautiful brown leather. So jet black over um, mocha. See all the rear seat entertainment. And I'll do what many videos don't do. And go into the full back seat, the third row. And you can see there is a ton of room. Of course, you can move these seats back. Uh, so if you're only using the first two rows, uh, you can just use those. But look at that panoramic roof, too. I mean, this... And I can just sit there, lay down, relax. It's just absolutely awesome. Even here in this third row, I mean, if you have somebody who's quite tall, I mean, I got, I got a good solid three to four inches up there in headroom. Got reading lights, you got vents right here. You know, they really did think about the second row here, second and third row. Because then you can just move that back. You still have a good amount of room back there. Nice and easy to get in and out. Uh, it's currently disabled right now, but you do have power running boards. I know there's a button somewhere for them, but I'm not going to go digging through a menu. I can't even reach the end. Oh, there it is. I can't reach the end of these things half the time. This is, I think, the third new Tahoe I've driven. Hey, wheel locks. Look at that. Hey, wheel locks. SD card for the uh, North American maps. That's pretty cool, actually. You can control all your rear screens from here. Your um, thousands of cameras.
You know, it's just a really, really good system to use. Another big thing I like is, uh, say this is going to be uh, imported or exported to Europe, or Canada even, where everything's in kilometers an hour. It's extremely easy to change, and the gauge itself, uh, I'll show this on the drive, the gauge itself turns to kilometers an hour. Notice how it says miles per hour and then kilometers an hour. Go into settings, units, scroll down to metric, your uh, oil pressure changes, your uh, water temp goes into Celsius, your fuel gauge, instead of showing E, F, you know, because letters are different in different uh, languages, it just shows kind of like a fluid level. Volts stay the same because that's universal, but your speedometer actually changes from kilometers to mile an hour. So once we get moving, you'll be able to see it. So right now it says 20 kilometers an hour and down to like 12. That I absolutely love. Really smart idea. Something I think a lot of other manufacturers should do. As stated before, this is the upgraded 6.2, producing 420 horsepower out of the Camaro. It's insane. That should be a better view for you. Yeah, it's really, really windy and it's 63 degrees out. Pretty, pretty chilly for a New England day. Uh, I don't know when this video is going to be going live. I have quite a backlog of videos, uh, so this will probably go live right about fall, which is kind of crazy to say. So this kind of weather will be normal. This will seem like a hot day, uh, but going from 80 degrees down to, you know, 60, quite a difference. Wow. Overall, the 2021 Tahoe is a beast of an SUV. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.